Hello and welcome to solarsecurity.com. My name is Sola. This tutorial is about how to remove and prevent a ransomware WannaCry. Now everybody knows what is ransomware WannaCry. It takes over your system, mainly Windows operating system, and nothing you can do about it, unless you pay, of course, a Bitcoin, which is about three to six hundred dollars. This tutorial is very uh, simple and straightforward. I will show you, first of all, how to easily remove from, let's say, Windows 10 or any other window. Then we can use and scan with the Kaspersky Internet Security, which prevents uh, any future infection. Okay, first of all, we've got clean window. I'm using very controlled environment, a virtual PC, a VMware obviously cannot use on your system because uh, it will spread through the network. So it will be much, much easier to use it like this. It's right. Double click, I'll just extract on the desktop and I'll show you the infection and how it does everything. I don't need this one anymore. If I double click, first thing we see is spreads like a wildfire. You see too many files that come in here. And uh, if I double click, this is the main file. Basically, this malware comes through the links like Adobe Flash or Adobe Acrobat or any other link you might get it from the internet or anywhere anyway this is encrypted now all the files are encrypted and nothing you can do you can try to close it just comes back again and again and uh, the only option is obviously to format the system but what about if you have plenty of uh, pictures document so and so so we'll find a very easy solution you don't need the software at all we just need to use you know common sense you see it's coming back all the time and it's encrypted. If you say decrypt and you say start to decrypt, obviously say pay now if you want to decrypt all your files. And nothing you can do. It's everywhere. If you try to delete, you cannot delete anything at all because the file is running and is everywhere. Spread it all over the place. And nothing you can do. So the solution is very straightforward. And um, once you do the same way as I do, then you're not going to have any issue at all. What we need to do is we have to use a safe mode. A safe mode is a kind of uh, a control environment as well where you can uh, press when the system is booting. Your a laptop or your system is rebooting, you have to click F8. But the easiest way of doing it is just click Start, MS Config, and go here. After that, just click Boot. Just click it here, Save Boot. See, nothing you can see actually. Everything is hidden. Save boot and just say OK. And the system will restart. Basically, it's controlled environment. So nothing ransomware can do about this. We can actually delete and start uh, cleaning the system from a uh, safe mode. So let's just wait the system to come back and we'll just start cleaning straight away. Yeah, we are here. This is the control environment. You can see safe mode, safe mode, and safe mode under the windows. You cannot use the windows as a normal. So the first thing I do is just basically delete these files. We cannot delete the early. Ransomware people cannot do this because I can just delete it very easily. But it doesn't mean that I delete that everything is okay. Make sure you empty recycle bin. After that, just a right click start and say control panel. And then you just write this place a folder, nothing else. After that, you can see a file explorer here, this option. Just go to the view and just say show hidden files and folders. OK. After that, what you need to do is just basically go to a right click here and say file explorer again. Then just go to this PC. C users sg which is my user you might have your own user john or julia or whatever it doesn't matter so your own user just double click this one app data and local and then delete anything you see here for example i see this one and this one and i delete that and make sure you empty it from here as well empty recycle bin that's done from this side then after that just go a right click again, run, and I just write a temporary. We have to go temp like this and enter, and the file is in here as well. So control A, delete all. And after that, make sure you right click and empty here as well. 
Once you do that, the most important place is to go to the registry, right click, run, reg edit, enter, and then I have to show it to you where to go. Very easy. H key current user, click that, and then go to the software. And then obviously you have to go to Microsoft, which is where all the problems are coming from. Microsoft. And then we have to check the windows and the rest. You go all the way down and just say windows. And then this is where the things are. If I have a look here, what I can see is, see, wanna cry? Just right click that one and delete and then you can have a look if you can see anything else. If I click this one, you can always have a look if there's anything at all. Whoa, WinRAR, WinWare, rest is no a problem at all. Everything else is fine. Let's have a look here. There's nothing at all. Roaming, Windows error reporting, everything is clean here. So from this side, everything is done. Now, what you need to do is just have a look a host file. Just right click, File Explorer, this PC, C, Windows, then a System32, then Drivers, which is down here, then ETC, this is what you're looking, host file, which is very important, sometimes it goes there. Double click. If you can see anything unusual here, then you can delete and I, I don't see anything at all so you can delete from here nothing is in here so now go to right click again file explorer go to the downloads nothing empty documents nothing empty as well so that's it really it's done one more time i'll right click start run mscon a fig okay and let's have a look start up open the task if you see something unusual like vProtect, I don't recognize, highlight this one and you say disabled. Now I disabled a task, a disable as well. So that's it, it's done, nothing else. The only thing we need to do is we have to restart the system and maybe there's some leftovers of the ransomware. Then we use Kaspersky Internet Security to secure and clean at the same time. Before I do that, let me click boot, remove safe mode, make sure you do that, okay. And the system will ask you to restart and we just have to wait for a couple of seconds yeah the system is back uh, the first thing you notice is hmm, the virus is still there the malware is still there actually it's not there this is the a background just right click this one's usual uh, personalize and then we just have to change it from here very straightforward double click this one and then that's done still we've got uh, plenty of things to do with the kaspersky so if i a drag and drop a Kaspersky internet security. We just have to run this one and start cleaning because uh, uh, something might be left over and we just have to check that. A uh, continue and we'll just say install. It will start installing uh, the system and we'll scan. While we're doing that, I just have to go start here, this PC. Then I have to go a C users a default desktop this is completely different desktop you see that you just have to click this one right click and uh, a delete because you might be wondering skip oh it's already been deleted anyway you might be wondering why it's on desktop this is completely different this is where they're hiding see users default and desktop and this one will be removed automatically by a Kaspersky very soon let's just wait minimize let's just wait this one to finish within five minutes then we'll come back yeah kaspersky is ready just say a finish and uh, i'm just gonna do a quick scan meanwhile make sure you always have to empty recycle bin very important because uh, it stays here all the time anything you delete from the system just empty it from here we just have to wait this one to load and run and uh, it will be very straightforward it's free and clean and I will just find if anything is left over because, as you know, it spreads all over the system and nothing will be left after a Kaspersky Internet Security start running. Yeah, it's start doing quick scan. You've got the 30 days to use this for free. And as far as I know, this is the best uh, 
internet security you can use for anything let's have a look at that file it's gone nothing so that's it that's the best way to do you don't need the software you don't need any money to pay or bitcoin or anything at all everything is clean you can use uh, nothing's been hijacked as you can see we've got a google here and uh, you can restart you can do whatever you like and that's it it's very clean very straightforward please like and uh, comment till next time thank you very much for watching goodbye